Welcome to part 3 of the website development series and we are going to cover JavaScript. Now let's go ahead and add some dynamism on the web page that we have created. For making our web pages interactive, JavaScript is a client-side programming language executed on the client browser. It is lightweight, expressive, found in all the web browsers. JavaScript helps you in performing functionalities like changing the color, calculating total, alerting important messages, getting the input from the user, processing the response, so on and so forth. Again, it is interpreted, not compiled. Mind it, it is case sensitive. So alert if you are using with capital A and alert with small a are different. You can provide comments used for documenting your program so that it is understandable and readable. JavaScript can be placed in line. That means you can use a script tag or you can store it in any other file with an extension .js. So we will be looking at both of the options of having a JavaScript code on the HTML page at the same time creating a .js file. But Preferred mechanism of creating JavaScript files is placing it in a separate file so that it will be reusable and it helps you in creating modular applications. For using JavaScript, again, you can have script tag, declare variables, and you can use alerts. And there are programming rules for using JavaScript and providing any functionalities. There are various terms used in JavaScript like variables, data types. It supports six data types, functions, arrays, objects, DOM, that is the HTML elements that you have on your HTML page. They are called as selector in the CSS world and the JavaScript called them as objects. So you have an H1 as an HTML element. It is called as an object in JavaScript programming. And then definitely you will be having event handling. So when a user starts interacting with your web pages is when you can handle the events. Now let's go ahead and see a small demo on the scene. Again, you will be using brackets. Now I'll be adding a paragraph. I will be giving an ID to this paragraph. It is an empty tag right now. I'm adding a button. I say the ID of the button, suppose B1, and when I click on the button, on click, I want to change the content of the paragraph. I'll say, I'll have a function change in a JavaScript file. I close it and I'll give it a caption, click me. I'll have to write the code wherein when the button is clicked, a function is called and it changes the content of the paragraph. For that, one way is you can have a script tag and inside the script tag, I can create a function called as change. Here, just to show you that this function was called, let's add an alert and I'll say function invoked. Let's just run this part. Now, when I run it, it opens the browser. You have an empty paragraph, so you won't be able to see it over here. I click on the button, you can see the alert function is displayed and you get function invoked. Now inside the function, let me take input from the user. So for that, I have prompt. I'll say prompt, enter your name. Once the name is entered, I have to store somewhere. So I'll create a variable. Now, once I have the variable, I want to be able to get the reference of the paragraph. So I'll say where para, so this is DOM. I'll say document dot get element by ID. We know the paragraph's ID is P1. Once I get the reference of the same, I can just say para dot inner HTML is equals to and I can say welcome with the name. You want to add some styles to it. You can say para dot style suppose color is equals to and maybe I'll add blue you save it you refresh click on the button you get the alert you get the prompt enter your name say okay can you see welcome Shalini in blue 
This is how you can create functions, you can create variables, you can use the dialog boxes, you can get the reference of the object, you can change it dynamically and uh, JavaScript helps you to have a responsive website. In the next video, we will see a mini project covering all the concepts learned in the three videos of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. A cat killed. Average is dead.